In our timeline, the Mandalorian tried to cleanse himself in the waters of Mandalore, which was actually the lava of Mustafar, and he emerged as the Supreme Leader Snoke. However, upon becoming Snoke, he has learned that he is in fact ridiculed. He's a clone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe get that cough checked out before you turn into General Grievous and make another fine addition to your collection. A fine addition of coughs. <coughs> After arriving on Tatooine and once again meeting with the Armorer, Snoke has learned that the entire galaxy is turning into gog droids! Hello there, my friend. Upon walking out, emerging from his cave, he could see nothing but gog droids in the distance and a Ronpar, I believe, is the name of that creature there. What's that you speak of? A Sith? Gonk? You say there is a Sith Gonk that rules over all Gonk droids? Together, let us go to the Sith Gonk! Take me there! Snoke has literally never had more fun in his entire life. Look at him go. Snoke learned a great truth that day. On Exegol, on the planet of his birth where he was cloned, he learned that on his homeworld, there is a Gonk that rules over all Gonks and is plotting to rule the galaxy. Today, we are traveling back to Exegol to meet the Sith Gonk, known only as Gonkatine. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> take me, Gonk. We must take an appropriate ship for our mission. There is only one which I can think of. Only one. Hello? Hello, fellow gonks. You are all clones like me. I am a clone. I am nothing but a clone. Let's be honest though, Snoke is up to something evil. He wants to rule the gonk droids and rule them in his galactic quest to once and for all take vengeance on Palpatine for creating Snoke, for making him do his bidding. Who would have known that Snoke would drive a giant gonk droid ship? It's a gonk ship. Come on, gonky, let's go. No time to chat with the other gonkies. We must get to the main gonk, the leader of all gonks. And so across the galaxy, they traveled all the way to Exegol into space. Snoke had only ever heard rumors of the great Sith gonk, but if he was being honest with himself, he didn't realize what he was getting himself into. There's another character in space. I wonder who it is. Sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. Snoke's getting sidetracked on his way to meet the main gonk. Oh boy, don't fly in the space battle, bro. Bounty. Hunter. Oh, we're in the space battle. Can Gonky take down everyone? Don't worry everyone, I'll save you. I may just be a little droid, but I'm gonna be the hero this galaxy needs. Just you wait. Gonna be the bravest, the fastest, the- Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just pumping myself up to go on a daring rescue mission. First order ships have got the resistance pinned down just up ahead. Charge! We're gonna help this poor sucker because it's gonna make the mission to saving the gonk droid. We're not really saving the gonk droid. God, I can't think and shoot at the same time. Is this even the mission? Am I even doing the mission? Am I doing things correctly? Where is the mission either? Oh, seek. What am I doing? Useless. So, after that little mishap, Snoke flew down to the planet Exegol, the planet of his birth, to see if he could locate the Sith Gonk droid and form an alliance, or perhaps rule the Sith Gonk droid, in his quest to defeat Palpatine once and for all. And vow vengeance against the Empire, against the First Order. He's also kind of pissed off at the, the grandson of Darth Vader, known only as Ben Swallow, the shirtless wonder. But that is what eventually divided him in half. Come with me, Gonki. I must ride you into battle. Why can't I get on top anymore? Gonki, come here. Gonki, board into battle. I believe the Sith Gonk lies deep within the chambers of Exegol. I've never seen Snoke have more fun ever. Looks like the spiderwebs Palpatine hasn't been taking care of them since here. Isn't that hint droid's problem now? Hopefully we don't run into the hint droid while we're down here. Hopefully everything will be fine. Why is it so dark in here as well? Seriously, this is where I was born and the place hasn't changed since. Maybe they could install some more lights, you know, even some red- oh, oh my god, it's me! Palpatine has been up to his usual nonsense. Ah, uh, it's my power! How dare you! I am the real Snoke! What? Whoa, hang on. Snoke uses the force. Did you guys notice that? He's actually, he was using the force like this. That's his punch. Wow, he doesn't actually punch. He just uses the force and it's like an uppercut. Wait, why are the gonks red here? Is that for real? Are you the Sith gonk? Gonk, I bring many gonks. Everyone has become a gonk apart from Snoke. Because Snoke is a- <gasps> So the rumors are true. The Sith gonk is real. It exists. Sith Gonk, tell me my mission and we will rule the galaxy together and take vengeance on Ben Swolo and his bare chest. The Gonkatine have plans to join Knights of Ren, but turned away for being too Gonk, not enough hunk. Ah, that is very accurate. I love it. To be fair, I wouldn't say they're hunk. I'd say they're more like... You know? The Gonkatine not remember exact words, but no matter. 
If Gonka Team cannot join existing gang, Gonka Team make own. Presenting Knights of Gonk! But not much gang with only one member need helpful minion to recruit more. It was Gonka Team's plan, after all, to turn the entire galaxy into Gonk droids. He was succeeding on his mission, he was coming ever closer to doing so. I do want to accept Knights of Gonk mission. Minion look for three of meanest, baddest gonks all over galaxy and recruit for glorious Knights of Gonk gang. See bad gonk doing bad gonk things. Send to Gonka Team. And this is how the Gonk Empire was built my friends. Snoke had found his new place in the world. He too hated the Knights of Ren for following the shirtless Kylo, so he wanted to have a great hand in joining the Knights of Gonk. And so Snoke traveled across the galaxy in his new Gonk ship with his Gonk friend to find another evil Gonk. The Gonk revolution was only just beginning. Hello Gonk. Everywhere Snoke went, the Gonks were multiplying. Their plans were coming to fruition. Through the cobblestone streets of Cantonica, Snoke traveled, passing Gonk after Gonk, looking for the evilest Gonk on the planet. Bad Gonks, huh? A chap who lives just down the street is always shouting after his. I Apparently see. it's always vanishing when work needs doing. I see. Thank you for your assistance. I will now execute you. There can be no traces. No traces of gonk activity. The remaining humans and other life forms are not happy that the galaxy is being overrun by gonks. They know the revolution is coming. That stubborn gonk droid won't do a single thing I ask. Every time I have a job for it, it runs away and hides. Sure, it sounds playful, but it's incredibly annoying. Perhaps it's joining the gonk revolution. And no, this isn't like the time I asked Astromech to make pancakes. I want the gonk to do something it's actually designed for, powering up the pancake oven. So you see, for too long, humans have relied on gonk droids for simple things such as making pancakes, but it's time the gonk droids fight back. The revolution begins now. A pink gonk, will you come join the gonk resistance? Gonk, keep down noise. Invisi gonk is hiding from work and responsibility and let stranger come to be drain on society also. Stranger, please leave. Gonk on Exegol make new gang for mischievous gonks. Invisi gonk never be found by annoying boss owner if have gonk Gonk gang to hide behind. Time Invisigonk made final disappearance. Oh boy. Oh my god, the gonk disappeared. Invisigonk boarded the great gonk ship along with Snoke. And together they would travel to Tatooine on their next venture to locate another to help fight in their cause. To Tatooine! Ah yes, the small city of the boy of sand. I don't like sand. I, need a ride else? I do not need a ride. Further. I thought we dealt with you last video. Fear not, when the gonk uprising begins, we will deal with all of you. Upon arriving on Tatooine, Snoke learned of something new. The streets of Tatooine were becoming also overrun with gonk droids. The revolution was going stronger than ever. If I could do it without touching him, I'd just yank him out of the socket. But I ain't got no kooky force powers. See, you ain't got any magic mumbo jumbo going on, have you? Well, as a matter of fact, I do, for you see, I am Snoke, supreme overlord of the galaxy and of the gonk droids. Hello there, gonk. Come join the resistance. Join the Knights of Gonk. Who dares remove Giga Gonk from Socket Throne? Weak and feeble stranger. Best have good explanation for Giga Gonk or expect much voltage to places where voltage not desired. My friend, come put that voltage to good use. Stranger wish for Giga Gonk to join Sinister Gonk Club on Exegol. Giga Gonk normally lead rather than join, but may be good to let other Gonk do most evil work for change. Giga Gonk away! <laughs> Wait. Come back, Giga Gonk! Where did he go? He d disappeared amongst a sea of gonk droids. And so, Snoke, Giga Gonk, and Gonk Isabel, is that what her name is, traveled to the final planet to Chaku to meet up with one last evil gonk droid to join their cause. The Gonk Rebellion was rising. Palpatine did not know what was coming. Another sand planet, but Snoke was not complaining, for he was so close to becoming leader of the Gonk Rebellion. Hello, human. I'm sorry, a uh, what? A bad gonk? Yes, a bad gonk. I think there was one acting a bit funky down the way. Yes, indeed. I will go there. Thank you. And you heard nothing! You know nothing! Come with me, gonk. Down the hill. While riding down the hill on his new speeder bike, Snoke saw a thing of beauty. A sea of gonk droids, which had taken over the small Nima outpost on the planet of Jakku. Gonk droids, I seek an evil one amongst you, but I want to recruit all of you. Can you talk some sense to this crazy gonk? Gonk, go get him! The revolution is here! Kill him! Do what must be done, Gonk. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Gonks, attack him! My blue Gonk friend, I want to recruit you into the Knights of Gonk. You have business with Mad Dog Gonk Do. Madison baddest of all Gonks, make it quick. Very busy terrorizing neighborhood with furious Bark Gonks. Put that energy to good use. Come and join the Knights of Gonk on Exegol. Special gang for Bad Gonks on Exegol? Sound right up Mad Dog Gonk Do's danger filled littered street. Mad Dog Gonk Do leave pathetic civilians to crying now. Goodbye. And so. 
Snoke was successful in his mission of recruiting gonk droids across the galaxy. What did you say to calm it down? You don't need to worry about that. You will die soon though, once the gonk revolution is complete. So Snoke returned up the hill of Jakku, walking towards his ship, when suddenly, out of nowhere, he heard a gonk. <gasps> The Super Gonk lives. The return of the Super Gonk. Friends, this is our key to defeating Palpatine, to defeating all in the galaxy and to making Gonk droids rule the galaxy forever. The Super Gonk, the invincible Gonk droid will lead them into battle. Come with me, Super Gonk. You are faster than any other. You will lead our charge, our rebellion, our resistance, our revolution. Snoke vowed revenge on the Knights of Ren, on the waxed chest of Kylo Swollen. Snoke arrived back on Exegol and could not wait to give the leader of the Knights of Gonk the good news. With his golden gonk and a galaxy full of gonk droids, he knew they would be able to achieve their greatest dreams. Never before had his anger for vengeance been fueled to the point it was today. However, upon returning to the Sith gonk, Snoke learned of a grave truth. Dark Jar Jar, you will lead Palpatine to battle against the gonk army and defeat Palpatine once and for all. Kill your destiny. Oh my god, Snoke. St other Snoke. Snoke clone, can you shut up for a second? We're having a meeting up here, it's important. The resistance must be destroyed before they get to Skywalker. Snoke! Snoke, I'm sorry to do this, you clone. Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. The Sith Gonk, Gonkatine, has been telling Darth Jar Jar what to do this whole time. How can it be? Darth Jar Jar, I thought you ruled the galaxy. It's the Sith Gonk. The Sith Gonk is behind everything. In your return so soon with all Knights of Gonk recruits, Gonkatine, prepare big disappointment speech. That is now not needed. First order of Knights of Gonk business, write new evil gratitude speech, then destroy things. All things, all precious rubble gone, all valuable ship wreckage smashed. Destroy all! The gonk droids now rule the galaxy. You have begun the great gonk revolution. Darth Jar Jar isn't behind everything. Gonkatine is. After being callously denied entry to the Knights of Ren, this ambitious gonk droid set out to create his own band of mischief makers consisting of the unruliest of gonk droids. Once this dastardly Knights of Gonk were united, they began carrying out Gonkatine's list of evil deeds. However, they soon began to realize their escapades weren't as malicious as they intended. Are the Knights of Gonk actually a force for good? Time will tell. My Gonk friends, join me. Join me across the galaxy as we start the Gonk Rebellion and kill all that fall in our way! All that lie in our path will be ruined. All will be crushed. All will be killed. Darth Jar Jar, come with me. This is the end of the galaxy as we know it. The Gonk Revolution is here, my friends. Gonk Teen and Darth Jar Jar are about to set the Knights of Gonk on the entire galaxy. What's gonna happen next? I have no idea. Thank you for watching. Please also watch this video here. Subscribe if you aren't already. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.